According to the different civil society organizations under the Uganda National NGO Forum, several schools, especially those in the private sector, have failed to reopen mainly due to financial distress. And those that have managed to open have gone on to charge exorbitant fees that the majority of Ugandan parents cannot afford. Now, NGOs are requesting government to invest more attention to the education sector. We have seen reopening of schools and government schools are collapsing on learners. Just in the first week, five learners lost lives on buildings collapsing on them. Then we see outbreak of fires that are resulting also from shambolic structures in schools with no supervision. But when you look at the budget framework and discussions in parliament, the leaders are talking about state house, talking about vehicles of presidential advisors with an endless number, talking about vehicles of RDCs, when we have learners who have spent two years at home and are losing lives in a few days on government buildings collapsing on them. According to the CSOs, over 100 schoolgirls who got pregnant during lockdown are staring at a bleak future, something that needs to be addressed. We've talked about teenage pregnancies and we know about half of the learners are not going to be able to return to schools because most of them have been affected by one teenage pregnancy, but others really, as we've been hearing from the media, they've gotten jobs and they no longer see the opportunity cost of education. So they've opted out of education to continue working the little money that they are earning during the last two years when Uganda experienced the longest closure of schools. But then also, more specifically in terms of women and girls, the domestic violence, the teenage pregnancy is what is going to keep away the learners from school. And this is something that we need to emphasize, that the government needs to find a middle ground for how the learners can return to school, um, at the same time be able to take care of the children that they've had during the pandemic. They also urged government of Uganda to adhere to the rule of law and respect for human rights. According to the NGO Forum, Parliament should suspend the budget for the National NGO Bureau Secretariat until the Minister of Internal Affairs sets up the NGO Board and Adjudication Committee in accordance with the NGO Act. Suspend the budget of the Ministry. The law is very clear on the functioning of the NGO Bureau and its organs. As we talk today, we only have a secretariat that has no supervision, that has no checks and balances. And this is deliberate to stifle for the working environment of civil society organizations in Uganda. As uh, civil society organizations and as democracy and human rights activists, we feel that this continued disregard of the law, continued undermining of court orders and the judiciary only serve to undermine the democracy project that we have worked to consolidate over a long period of time and it should stop with immediate effect. The plight of the NGO forum comes at a time when activists have gone on to file a lawsuit against government for failing to legislate hiking of school fees by several schools after reopening. Shamim Natewa,